It wasn't until after high school when I really liked being alone. I lost all my friends, so I didn't really have a choice, but I noticed that the reason why I liked hanging out with friends, that, that I had to hang out with friends all the time, is because I honestly didn't really like myself very much. And that's because I think I didn't really know myself very well. But it wasn't until I started to think and, and learn about myself that I actually started to like myself. You know, I started talking to my dog like, like a crazy person. I, and I had the chance to discover what I'm really passionate about, right? I actually started to understand that I am a really cool freaking person and I started to get some solid confidence going. The fact is that we are all super cool people. We all have enormous amounts of potential and resources of talent and abilities. We're going to find that by following the natural laws of the world and some simple concepts that we can really bring to the surface this inherent power that we all possess, which creates the manifestation of prosperity into the physical realm that we live in. So the unit of measurement that we're going to use to determine the success we have in this is going to be our results and specifically the results in the happiness, health and wealth departments of our lives. The collective consciousness of the world right now is in a state of fear, which fear reduces all of those things I just listed. There are a lot of unhappy people right now. Fear actually weakens the immune system, scientifically proven, and we also have a deadly virus running rampant right now, as well as massive lockdowns, which are choking small businesses and, having, and, and a lot of people are losing their jobs right now. I've been learning that there are actual laws to happiness. And if you follow the rules, if you, go, if you go by the rules, right, you just keep getting happier and happier. And in the area of wealth, they say that there are specific laws governing money. And this stuff may not be able to talk, but it can for damn sure hear you. Now, I don't know about you, but when I heard that, it made me want to go buy a giant megaphone and scream to all the money in the world to just come to me. I mean, money can solve a lot of problems for me and in the world, right? But if I can also have health and happiness just by following these universal rules, these rules, these laws of the universe, if I can know and follow them, then sign me up, baby. That sounds freaking sweet. Now look, you may be listening to me right now and thinking that I'm an idiot, that I sound stupid, but these are not my ideas. Look, I'm just the messenger. I'm getting this stuff out of books like this. And these are the greatest teachings of human capability in world history. So let me ask you, what kind of results are you getting in these three areas of your life right now? And be completely honest. Are they the results that you've always dreamed of? If they are not, then your way clearly does n is not working for you. So why don't you try what's in this book? Now I'm going to be breaking down what's in here and all kinds of books like it, but I'm not going to do it in one sitting because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to be doing the reading and studying for you. And then I'm going to break it down and organize it in ways that we can all understand in this new age of technology. So if your way isn't giving you the results that you want, I would seriously consider having an open mind to these new concepts and ideas. Napoleon Hill sprinkled a little secret into every chapter of this book. It's all over this book, but he never really tells you what the secret is. He leaves it up to you to find it. It's really cool. So let me hear, let's hear what he has to say about this secret. A particular thing, or a peculiar thing, about this secret is that those who acquire it and use it find themselves literally swept onto success with but little effort, and they never again submit to failure. If you doubt this, study the names and records of those who have used it, wherever they have been mentioned, and be convicted. What a badass.
So just for the record, I'm going to read you some people who know this secret and use it so that you understand what he's talking about. He's talking about Henry Ford, you know, Ford Motor Company, the guy who invented that. Theodore Roosevelt, Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, Thomas Edison, John D. Rockefeller, just to name a few. There's hundreds in here. But if you want to know the same knowledge that these guys knew, we're going to get into it. So let's go on a journey, baby. Are you ready? I hope so.